usar la muñequera todo el tiempo. Gracias. Claro, I could just stay like this all day. What do you mean you could? It's all you have done for the last three days. Huh. Mind you, it is cracking, I'll give you that. How come we've never gone abroad before? Because my mother never offered to pay before. <laughs> Cheap now, all these low-cost airlines. Cheaper to fly to Spain than it is to fly to Newcastle. What do you want to go to Newcastle for? I don't. What are you talking about, then? I'm just saying, aren't I? It's cheaper to fly to Spain than it is to Newcastle. Who do you know in Newcastle? I don't know anybody in Newcastle. Bloody hell. I'm only saying. Why Newcastle? Oh, Christ, on a bike. That woman were from Newcastle, weren't she? Hey? That slag. What slag? The one in the bar the other night. The one you've not met before, but mysteriously knew your name. Oh, will you give me the rest? We're supposed to be relaxing. We're on holiday. Yeah, I know we are. Just don't relax too much. I've got my eye on you. Uh, excuse me. Al Ombre and Poco Breakfast, por favor. Oh, chill out. It's ridiculous. Most of the people here are English. We seem to have a go at the language. But if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. I'm from Baconhead, mate. Plus, this is a self-service buffet. So tomorrow, if you get here before half ten, when breakfast finishes, you won't have to rely on the monkeys, will you? Job at his self service, you wouldn't want him gobbing on your meat. Oh, I don't know. Hello, hello. Sorry to bother you. Hello there. Well, hello, how are you? I've been meaning to come over and apologise at some point. Apologise? Yes, I do believe I spat on you at breakfast. Did you? Yes, totally unintentional, you understand. I was at the buffet and I turned my head slightly to spit out a tiny bit of eggshell and, well, you were just outside my peripheral vision and I believe it landed in your hair. Oh, well, we're on holiday, aren't we? My philosophy, exactly. I'm Donald, and this is Jacqueline. Oh, I'm Madge. Madge, lovely name. Enjoying your holiday, Madge? Oh, yes, lovely bit of sun. You don't get this in Manchester. Oh, is that where you're from, Manchester? Well, not originally, but it's where we live now. Uh, we used to travel down to Manchester. We had a couple of musician friends, Keith and Eunice Piggott. You might have heard of them, the Blue Notes. No. Do you mean the ink spots? No, no, the Blue Notes. Uh, very big in the Belgian jazz scene. Uh, they were a lovely, broad-minded couple, weren't they? Oh, yes. We did a lot of very good home movies with them. Yes, very versatile couple. Uh, that would be when late 60s? Oh, I was in my prime then, the swinging 60s. Oh, right. Bit of a swinger, were you? Oh, yes, 40 years ago. Mind you, I've not lost it. I reckon once a swinger, always a swinger, don't you? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, I, I could kick my legs up with the best of them. Don't think because I'm in a chair, I'm past it. Oh, I'm sure you're not. We had a lovely couple from the black country staying with us before we came away. She was 58, had a plastic hip, but that didn't stop her going like the clappers, did it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, you've got plenty to read. That's good here, isn't it? I bought three magazines with me and I've gone through them like a dose of salt. Oh, here, really? take a couple. I've got a stack of them in the apartment. Oh, thanks, love. I, I don't want you to think that's all I come over for. Not at all. Plenty more where they came from. Nancy Friday, women on top. It's not one of them feminist jobs, is it? I can't be doing with that. Lord of airy lesbians trying to do their own plumbing. No, it's more, um, well, fantasy. Oh, not that Lord of your rings rubbish. Someone in the pub give us that on DVD. All you could see were people getting up to go to the toilet. What is your mother doing talking to them? I think she's gone to borrow a magazine. What's wrong with the magazine she's got? They're in Chinese. What do you think's wrong with them? She's read them. All right, I only asked. Here we are. Alan Titmarch. It's a gardener, isn't it? I like him. I'll have a look at this one, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? I'd let him dig my garden any day. Well, perhaps you'd like to come up and have a good old rummage through Jacqueline's Jilly Coopers. Loosen up. Oh, I. I might take you up on that. It'd be nice to have a civilised conversation for a change. 
I'm a widower, so I don't get much these days. Oh, we can soon put that right, can't we? Oh, yeah. Howdy. What are you playing? Scrabble. Nice one. Like your style. No, I mean, what are you playing? American rules, English. Spanish. Cool, cool. Yeah, there is a role to it, but it's playable. Do you fancy a game? Do you like? So, uh, yeah, with your family? Yeah, I was going to come on holiday by myself, but then I remembered I'm 16 and have no money. Do you want me a break? Yeah. I remember when I had go on all with my parents when I was 16. It's a bitch, isn't it? Stripes. Who's that woman you've been sat with for the past three days? Oh, that woman? She's my PA. Your PA? You know, personal assistant. She deals with all my day-to-day -day shit. What? She wipes your ass? No, you know, she takes care of all my day to day admin shit. Phone calls and whatever. I'm a professional pub quiz champion. Just breaking into television. You know what I mean? No. I'm avoiding William G. Stewart at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get 15 to 1 back off the ground. Wants me to set the questions. I thought that woman was your mum. <laughs> my mum? That's funny. I'll, I'll tell her that. Make her laugh. Jeff, Jeff, I found some of those batteries you were after for your headset. I left them with your mum. <laughs> Turns. Well, that's something I didn't expect. A civilised conversation in this place. Very nice couple. What did you get, ma'am? It's that Titmarsh fella, the one who does the gardening. It's Titchmarsh. Yeah, no oh, lovely. We'll have to get you strapped into your chair to read that one, Madge. Apparently, Alan likes to give his money's worth in the old six succeeds. Oh, don't be disgusting. <laughs> it's Alan Titmarsh off the telly. Not everybody's like you, you know. Mind like a sewer. I'll have to look at that after you, ma'am. There's some Jilly Coopers in their apartment. I'm off up there later to have a drink with them. With a bit of luck, they'll give me one. There's no answer to that. Here we go. Martin, I can't drink a cocktail. It's OK, it's not alcoholic. I really enjoyed last night. I had a little too much to drink. You were fine. Well, when I say you were fine, you were pretty insatiable when we got back to the apartment. Yes, I know. You said this morning. You really can't remember? No, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not used to drinking that amount. And I'm not used to you making that kind of noise in the bedroom, either. God. Must admit, the old soldier had nearly forgotten how to stand to attention. Martin, please. Hey, relax. We're on holiday. I'm allowed to do things that are a little bit crazy. Here I go! <laughs> You're not having a burger, ma'am. Got one in my bag from yesterday. Waste not, want not. Oh, mother. Just uh, pass me T-shirt, will you, Michael? What do you want your T-shirt for? It's bloody boiling. The sweat keeps running down the crack of my ass. Do you know it's like being on a dream holiday with Hugh Grant? Aye, we all know what he got up to. Got caught in his car with his trousers down, dirty bastard. My dad looks no like Hugh Grant. Thank you, my darling. I'm more like Russell Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Russell Grant? Is that guy of Celebrity Fit Club that looks like a gay toad? Oh, yeah, you're going in, eh? You're going in, eh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 Gay, a beautiful wine for two beautiful girls. Hi there. You like my nuts? <laughs> Hi, sorry to bother you. I was just wondering if I could get another cocktail. Now, now what do you recommend? Hiya. Uh, two tequila sunrises, please. Oh, right. Sorry, were you next? Uh, Moving served. No problem. <laughs> How are you enjoying your holiday? Yeah, it's okay. Sun's nice. Absolutely. It's not exactly the Ritz, but uh, as you say, you can't fault the weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin Whedon. Sorry? I I'm Martin. Oh, hi, I'm Troy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I think I saw you the other day. You're with your um, friend. Yeah, I'm here with my friend. Sorry, that sounded slightly patronising. No, not really. I think it's important that someone's lover should be their friend. Best friend, preferably. Yes. Yes, you're right. Anything to eat? Hang on, I'll check. Gavin! Mm? The barman says, has he got anything you'd like to eat? Stop being vile and bring me my drink. Guess he's not hungry. See you later. Yep, have a good one. Right, can I have a virgin... What? I was just Your friends are going. I'll be up a bit later. Yeah, you have your feet right under the table with them, haven't you? Very nice couple. Mind you, you were right about this book. It's absolutely filthy. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us you were going to have a baby? Because it's none of your business. Nana said you're too fat to have a baby. You know there's a monster in that pool, don't you? Don't be a twat. Well, it's not a monster. They call it the fish baby. And it lives in the bottom of the pool. <gasps> it's got scales and big teeth. See, they tried to drown him in the pool when he was born because they didn't want him. But he learned to live under the water. <laughs> Shut up. Did you not feel him trying to pull you under when you were drowning in the pool? Shut up. Mum, tell her to shut up, Mum. What? What's she doing? Tell her to shut up. Can I have the key? I'm off back upstairs. Well, we're all going in now. Come on, Mum. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Oi, hold your horses, lady. Wait for us. Dad, are you gay? No, son. I just help them out on weekends when they're busy. I need you to send a fax to Channel 4. A what? I cancel that conference call with Television Centre. Well, I haven't got a phone. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. Oh. I thought we were having food in our room. We've got a hypnotist on tonight. Martin, no. It's OK, I won't let them get you up on stage. I'm not just your partner, you know. I'm your best friend as well. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. You can give it to me when I need to come along. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex I love that dress on you, John. Talk about sex bomb. Where's me and the gun? She's gone to borrow a book. Oh, so that's what the young kids are calling it these days. Will you pack it in? Well, you know they're into all that, don't you? Know that who's into what? That Scotch bloke and his wife, they're a pair of swingers. <laughs> they think your mother's gone up for a bit of a fumble with the curtain shut. <laughs> what part of your sick brain does all this rubbish come out of? I feel really ill. Are you OK? Yeah. I've got a sneaking suspicion that drinking non-stop for seven hours might have something to do with it. I'm just going to go up to the room for a minute. Do you want me to come with you? No, you stay here. I won't be long. I'm going to get something appropriate from the medicine bag. I didn't know we brought a stomach pump. Hmm. 
You made it. Thought for a minute you'd had cold feet. Cold feet? No. One of my daughters has got flat feet. She's been off work a year with them. Now, what would you like to drink? Oh, whatever's going. Go through, go through. I think Jacqueline started without us. Well, <laughs> where do you want me to put this book? Go through, go through. Oh. Right. A slight misunderstanding. Slight misunderstanding. I should have known when I read that mucky garden book. Bloody pervert! Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Let me out! I think we've been talking at cross purposes. Oh, oh dear. Oh, so sorry, oh, man. We've been locked up the pair of you. I've never, never oh, seen that. Before. You can't knock a coconut down every time. <laughs> Tea? Oh, yeah. something useful for once and get me a drink. Large vodka and orange. What's the matter, ma'am? Did they give you another book? I've never been so disgusted. Well, what's wrong? Perverts. Bloody perverts, both of them. Uh, sorry, we haven't even ordered yet. But can we... I'm going out to get some aspirin. I'll come with you. No, you stay here. I'll be fine. Order me a baked potato. OK, baked potato. What filling? Anything. Right. Anything. Yes, it friggin' well is, and she's singing that song to Mick. Well, I'd kick her ass into the middle of next week if it were me. Don't worry, I intend to. Madge, I just wanted to say, I, I'm really terribly sorry about what happened. We must have got our wires crossed at some point. Wires crossed? I should sue. I'm scarred for life after what I've seen. Oh, we're terribly sorry. We misjudged the situation. Disgusting perverts, the pair of you. You should be locked up. We hope you won't be offended, but we've brought you these cigarettes by way of an apology. Would you accept them? Oh, well. Well, I suppose it's a mistake anybody could make. Absolutely. No hard feelings? No. No hard feelings. Have a lovely evening. What's going on? Well, you weren't disgusted for very long, were you? Very genuine people. Oh, aye. Nothing to do with the 200 SIGs, obviously. Where's my dad gone? Thought he'd be getting some drinks. I know where he's bloody well gone. Green so real. What to talk about being in love? 
I'll give you a fucking shush. <laughs> Get out here, you dirty bastard. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not what it looks like. You forgot the key. Oh. It takes two, baby, to make a dream come true. Just takes two. Where's your mum? <laughs> About time. Just takes two.